New World Patch 4.0.4 is here and it brings cross server dungeons and a little bit more. Let's jump into the patch notes, let's talk about it. Actually, before I do that, big shout out to my Patreons, and if you want to come and see me play this live on Twitch as this patch happens, then, you know, come and click Twitch. Obviously, that's where I would be. So there's a little bit something different with this patch in that the timing, they tend to have two timings for their patches. Some of them are like late night Pacific time, which turns out being first thing in the EU. Or in this case, it's actually 5 a.m. Pacific time, which turns out being like midday for EU. Like UK time, this is 1 p.m. And this is on the 7th of September and the downtime is going to be an hour and a half. Now it does bring cross world expeditions. I'm not going to explain what that is here, but that's obviously the most important part. And I think a lot of people sort of underestimate how important this one is to the extent like I've not been doing dungeons at all really for the last probably like a month and a half, two months. But I'm probably going to do the dailies from this. You only get the dailies once for the mutated and two for the normal, but I'm expecting them to be relatively easy because you get a damage increase buff for the mutated at least so you'll probably blitz through them for the extra gold yeah i'll probably do it it's content at the end of the day and that's something we might be a little bit short on you can of course go watch new world's official breakdown of these patch notes if you want that's on their twitch channel not twitch youtube couple of item showcases but let's just skip over that now they fixed an issue that meant that some people weren't getting the contribution rewards i don't know what that is i haven't experienced that but you know, people weren't getting the rewards and now you should be. But one of the more important ones here for me is this Outpost Rush Powder Kegs. So there are were that basically destroying doors or gates as they say in their video is a little bit of a pain in the backside. I honestly think that the gates or the doors in middle could just be removed and I think the experience would be improved. But what they're doing in the short term, hopefully there is a long term fix to that as well, is that they're going to reduce the cost of the powder kegs from 100 as off to 50 as off and doubling their health so that they're actually more likely to go off. The idea is you can buy several of these and effectively go against the PVEs who are just like holding middle at the end of the game. I mean, yeah, fair enough. No, no problem with that one. Seems all right. The next one is interesting. I didn't even realize that this had a cooldown, which is why they're doing this. They're increasing the cooldown between activations of Pestilence, which is the Blunderbuss artifact, from half a second to one second. And now it's actually going to update the tooltip to clarify that there is one. I'm really seeing a lot less fire staff blunderbusses, so I'm not really sure this was really needed, but you know, they've got the data and I don't. And then there's like a whole section talking about cross server. And I don't just mean the rewards. If you want to check out the rewards, I'll try to leave a link in the description. There's bonus rewards for various things and that kind of stuff. But this section sort of like fixing things or setting things up for cross server. Some of them I don't understand. So now they're going to add a flag if you get kicked from a group, which means that you you don't then get the lever penalty because it's not really fair if you get kicked there's no point you know banning you from doing another dungeon for an hour because it wasn't your fault i mean it might be your fault you either might be a bumhole or you might be completely god awful running around naked or throwing but you know fair enough makes sense and the next one is the lever penalty applies if you close the client or your connection times out that's obviously what they don't want to happen here is people just cheesing it by you know all f4ing or disconnecting their internet just to avoid the lever penalty. They fixed respawn point filtering for outpost Russian expeditions. I don't think I understand that. Nor do I understand the next one. The respawn shrines are now available in cross world expeditions. Maybe they weren't available in the PTR and now they're available, which I guess would make sense. I don't think I actually did them in the PTR. So yeah, maybe that's it. Expedition counts are now consumed. So your runs will get depleted if you do this cross server stuff it's not like they're free runs and then this next one i am just i mean i've literally no idea what it means revive counts are now enforced in cross world expeditions my mind is a little bit broken maybe that's something from the ptr i don't know i don't quite understand when you get the deserted penalty i think either if you've been in long enough you might not get it i'm not really 100 percent sure what this next section is one thing they are definitely doing though is increasing the amount of mutations instead of it being two per week it's going to be three per week and as i was sort of joking about on stream they are actually having to reset the mutations so the two that are available right now which is genesis and lazarus they're going to be changed so if you're gemming up for some gaming tonight maybe consider if you want to do that 
although Lazarus is, you know, a favourite, so I suspect a lot of you will. There's a couple of fixes I'm just going to glance over because there's not really much point talking about them. But one I do want to very quickly talk about is that there is something that prevents people from entering the sandworm trial, which is funny because I wasn't sure there was that many people actually doing that. I think I'd notice this one without really, without really noticing it. They have fixed an issue that caused outpost rush matches to start with only backfilled players. I think what's basically happening there, if you get backfilled, but maybe somebody else is backfilling, it just starts a new outpost rush and the old one gets ignored. I don't really know, but I sort of feel like I've noticed that without actually realizing what was going on. And then one of the biggest ones here, which I know a lot of people will probably not be excited to see because they like the idea that you had to chase it, is the fact that the Frigid Dawn armor set is now actually going to be craftable with the materia at the gypsum kiln. I personally got the legs, I think I got the legs in total around five or six times and I got the helm about three times and then I was like, you know what, I'll wait. Well, my day has finally come, tomorrow I can craft it. And then there's a little section about known issues, which are basically things that they know aren't right, but they're just letting you know about that. So if you are in a pre-made group, for example, and then you do an expedition, you remove, you like get deleted from that group. You don't go back into the same friend group that you were already in. There also were, which I was sort of curious about this one, that you can't use the lost stopwatch if you are trying to tank because it will basically not recognize that you're able to tank because at the minute it only mentions and uses carnelian gems. I don't know how you fix that one very easily. It's obviously a little bit more complicated, which is why it's not going to work. There's a little workaround to this one. The roll counter does not update after kicking a member from a group and can stall the queuing process, but there's actually a workaround. If any remaining player revisits the roll select screen, the group size will update and will proceed as expected. So just keep that one in mind if you see it. You basically have to go into the roll select screen and then the game will be like, oh, this group needs a player, so let's give them one. Soul Trials occasionally show the lobby and matchmaking. To be fair, that was happening to me in Season 4. I actually sort of queued with somebody in the Season 4 PTR. I was in Season 4 Live. Never got into the group with them, but, you know, it was fun to try. When queuing for Outpost Rush or Arena, the Global Leave Queue button is missing from the updated UI, but you can still do this by going into the main queue status or from the specific Outpost Rush or Arena screen. So you can still do it, it's just not as easy as going into the top right. I think that's what that one means. For some reason, after you do an Outpost Rush, it might be that they show you the Expedition Queue HUD. Okay, don't think it's really going to be a long-term problem. To quickly summarize, Cross World, I think that's huge for the game, by the way. There's going to be a lot of people who are missing this. It's going to be better while you're leveling. It's going to be better for people who just want to feel like they can just do a little bit of content and then get out because of the daily rewards, even though the daily rewards are a little bit sad, but they're better than nothing. Cross server, I think very important though. I personally don't use kegs in Outpost Rush because I actually have to do some PVE to get the Azoth. I wish we started with 100 Azoth so that I could actually, you know, maybe just straight up buy my battle bread or something like that. Or you could prep these. I don't want to have to do PVE in PVP, but maybe that's just me. Pestilence is getting a little bit of a nerf. Not really sure that was needed, but there you have it. And then one of the bigger ones is the fact that the Frigid Dawn is coming to the Gypsum Kiln. That's going to be good stuff. If you're not sure what that is, by the way, it's basically some very strong, illegal perks, heavy armor. However, it does have magnify, which can definitely screw up some builds. So you do have to be a little bit careful there. Yeah, big shout out to my Patreons. I think this list actually needs updating, so I apologize. And if you want to come and see me play this, then Twitch is the best location. I'll be live and kicking and fun and all kinds of stuff. We'll be pumping that copium, doing those M1, M2s and regular dungeons. Actually, quite excited about it myself. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. For now, have a most beautiful day. Goodbye.